Bob Shemansky, an accomplished businessman in his own right, having served in the Congress of the United States, has decided to throw his hat in the ring this important year of 2006. He has dedicated his life to Central Ohio, to its communities, and he has served our country during times of war, as a civilian, and then as a public servant. Having served in the Congress already, he knows what it takes to make health care a reality for our country. Bob, welcome. Thank you, Congresswoman Kaptur. And thank you, Marcy, for the outstanding job you're doing as Dean of the Ohio Congressional Delegation. I'm Bob Shemansky, and people in the 12th Congressional District know that America's so-called health care system is completely broken and that fundamental changes must be made. 46 million Americans and one out of every five Ohioans don't have any health insurance at all. And four out of every five of the uninsured live in families that have jobs. And for those who do have insurance, premiums are going through the roof. In just the last six years alone, premiums have grown by 73%, while wages have grown by only 15%. In my opinion, it's just plain wrong for anyone who works hard and plays by the rules to go without health care or be driven into bankruptcy by health care costs. But you know, we didn't reach this crisis by accident. Both the Bush administration and the Republican-controlled Congress have largely ignored America's health care crisis and, in, and instead have promoted policies that have enriched drug companies and insurance companies at the expense of middle-class Americans. Let me briefly give you two examples. One is the Medicare prescription drug plan. By prohibiting Medicare from negotiating with drug companies for the lowest possible prices, the way Walgreens can, say, the Veterans Administration can, the Pentagon can on behalf of its hospital system, this law says that Medicare cannot negotiate with the drug companies. Now, this is the program of this administration and the rubber stamp like Pat T. Berry. These companies enjoy billions of dollars of extra profits, which, of course, eventually the taxpayer is stuck for. Now, proof, if you need proof of that, I urge you to look at the former chairman of the committee that wrote this bill, he is now the chief lobbyist for the drug companies in Washington at two million dollars a year. Lord knows he was impartial when he drew this up. The other example I want to mention is the so-called health savings accounts that the administration and its Republican supporters have put forward. The fundamental problem with the HSAs is that they're a great tax shelter for people who are both healthy and wealthy, but they don't provide affordable health care for middle class families. Mr. Bush's health savings accounts will do for health care what his privatization scheme would have done for Social Security, namely, sink it. In other words, the administration's approach, approach to health care is the same as their approach to taxes give big breaks to the wealthiest Americans and let everyone else fend for themselves. Well, I say it's time for a change. It's time we stop letting the big insurance and drug companies threaten middle class Americans with such words as your money or your life. And when we are elected to Congress on November 7th, fundamental health care reform will be one of our top priorities. Thank you.